Hi family, Dr. Hooten here at Hooten Family Healing Center in Dallas, Texas. I'm going to talk to you today about your big why. In other words, why are you taking care of yourself today? So if you have just started care in our office, this video is specifically for you. You can certainly refer back to it if you're a crafty veteran. Watch this. I would encourage you all to take heart what I'm telling you right now and don't ever forget it. If you talk to or listen to Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, a lot of these very successful, what you would call, you know, motivating type people, they all talk about your big why and we're not going to be any different. Now, I've been adjusting since I was 13 years old. Um, I was a sick baby. You know, I got well, I got off all those medications, I started growing, I grew up healthy because of this lifestyle we started living at 13 years old. Well, I'm already healthy. Why would I still take care of myself? What is your big why? What's my big why? Well, I don't want to get sick again. I don't want to grow up to be 70, 80, 90 years old and falling apart. I don't want to have to worry about what surgery I'm going to have next. So I'm actively taking care of myself every day. I want, I don't want to fall apart and I want to be grateful for having a functioning physical body. How cool would it be to be 80 years old and to do whatever it is you dream about comfortably where you're not hurting all the time. You're not having to pop pills. You're not traveling to the pharmacy like all the other seniors that seem to be in our culture. I mean, our culture is sick as we get older and that's backwards. We shouldn't have to worry about that. The reason being is that we're not taught to take care of ourselves properly earlier on. So you have to find out that big why. So you gotta scare yourself a little bit. I don't wanna get cancer. I don't wanna get heart disease. I don't wanna get diabetes, right? And then I want to be grateful for being able to play tennis when I'm 80 or 90. Playing with my great grandbabies when I'm 100 years old. How cool would that be? So when you're going through this, trying to isolate your big why, and we're trying to identify it, this is what we do in my family. And this is not some revelation that Dr. Hooten had. I mean, I learned this. We have a list of things that we're grateful for. And I went through this list with my 8-year-old daughter last week. And... She listed off, you know, 20, 30, 40 things that she's really grateful for today. Um, our dog, you know, our house, our backyard, mommy, daddy, Jesus, our church family. She had all these great things, right? Everything she's grateful for. And she's smiling the whole way through it. And then we drew a line. And at the bottom, she wrote down things that she will be grateful for when they happen in the future. So let's say you have a great career coming at you. I'm grateful for this wonderful career I have. You know, I'm grateful for family life. Whatever it is you want later on, I would list that down. What would you be grateful for? So she's eight and I, I gave her an example. I said, Steele, if you're 27 years old, what would you love to see happening right then when you're 27? Without hesitation, my eight-year-old daughter said, I would love to have my own children. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but man, you talk about a thunderbolt going through my body my personal big why skyrocketed when she said that at eight automatically i was thinking man i've got to do everything i can to be there for her kids when i'm grandpa hooten that means taking care of myself today and tomorrow and the next day and pushing my body even when i'm uncomfortable because i want that more than anything so the things that you would be grateful for in the future, how bad do you really want those? How bad? As, uh, as you hear some of these motivational people speak, they say, you've got to want that as bad as you want to breathe. That's how bad I want to be there for my grandchildren and my great grandbabies. And you better believe my workouts this week took a step up. I think when those push-ups were hurting this morning and I did more push-ups today than I have in a long time, when they started to hurt, I was thinking, grandbabies, 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 steals kids, steals kids. And man, I found that energy. When your why is big enough, you will find a way. So that's probably the biggest thing that I could impart on any of you as you start care, is finding your big why, and then your body, your physical body, will find a way to make it happen. You'll find time that you didn't know existed. You'll make time to get a workout in. You'll make time to get your adjustments. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, listen to me closely. You have to take care of your spine. There is no other way around that statement. 
Food is very important. Exercise, you get some movement, very important stuff. But you can't do either of those if your spinal cord isn't working. If your system isn't flowing, it's going to limit everything. So what does that mean? Keep your adjustments. Figure it out. Come here in the morning before work. We've got some midday hours now. Come in in the early afternoon. Whatever it is you've got to do, force that into your schedule. Your body will love you for it and it'll pay off in the long run. Imagine keeping full power flowing from your brain to your body consistently for 40 years. Your body's not gonna have a choice but to be functioning through the roof. Keep your spine flowing, so keep your adjusting schedule and take care of your spine at home. Those little wobble cushions, you know, those little wobble exercises, they go a long way to keep your spine loose and flowing between adjustments. Whatever your home care routine is, Get into a habit of doing it every night, possibly every morning also. Get those done. Before you know it, they'll become a habit. You'll be taking care of your spine. You don't have to think about it. Your body's gonna be functioning. You know, if you look at these testimonies we have up here, you know, there's some pretty awesome stuff. We've got a guy up on the wall who had had a heart attack and was taking like 13 medications and he changed everything over a year period. He lost like 80 pounds. He lost all that medication because his why was so big. Now imagine that, that, was, that had to be a pretty difficult journey, right? To actually start exercising, to figure out how to get here and get adjusted so his spine works. I mean, all those things came into play, but his why, his determination was so great that he figured out a way to make all that happen. And today he's happy, he's healthy, he's radically influenced his family and all the people in his circle. You can do the same. Just gotta figure out that why. So write it down, we've got sheets of paper for you to, so you can have it and you can write it for yourself. We would like to know what it is. Please share it with us. It's Dr. Hewitt signing off. Remember, drugs are bad, God is great, and so are you.